The block shot grabs it out of the air. This is the first home game of the season, so why not record it? For play against the Toronto Raptors, he drafted Jimmy Butler and Kyle Lowry as his first two picks. So he has a pretty gritty backcourt. So this should be pretty interesting. First play of the game, Damian Lillard goes in the paint, gets a bucket. So while this gameplay is rolling, I just want to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers and congratulations, <laughs> congratulating them on the NBA championship, man. Because to, to be honest, a lot of people were doubting them this season. A lot of critics, analysts, everyone was picking the Clippers or the Bucks to win the NBA championship this year. But you already know the story with the Los Angeles Clippers, how they choked the 3-1 lead. And how the Bucks lost to the Miami Heat. Before the playoffs started, everyone was criticizing the Lakers' three-point shooting. They were criticizing their offense, how it was stagnant. And to be honest, when the bubble restarted, they didn't look like the number one seed in the NBA. They really were struggling offensively. They were missing a lot of their threes. They lost to the Denver Nuggets bench. Do you guys remember that, pre that game before the playoffs? Where the Denver Nuggets were playing their bench and they beat, well they almost beat the Los Angeles Lakers but then Kyle Kuzma hit the game winning three. So people were criticizing the Lakers for that game. And then their first round matchup was against the Portland Trailblazers. They were the hottest team in the bubble. People were saying how they couldn't handle Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. How are they going to guard them in the perimeter? They're too slow. They don't have Avery Bradley. But their defense was magnificent. They beat them in five games. Even after game one, they said that the Portland Trailblazers are too much for the Lakers. But you guys saw how they adjusted. They were trapping Lillard. And then eventually they beat them in four games in a row. Same story for Houston Rockets. They were saying that small ball is going to kill the Los Angeles Lakers. They were saying they're too slow once again. They can't guard Harden and Westbrook together. And during the regular season, Houston always gave the Lakers problems. And again, they lost game one. They're criticizing the Lakers, but they came back, found a way. They made some good adjustments. Props to the coach, props to the defensive scheme. And Lakers just turned it on. And then they beat them convincingly in four games in a row as well. Then the Denver Nuggets. They were saying they're the team that beat the Los Angeles Clippers. So against the Lakers, they might beat them again. Especially since their bench gave them a hard time. The starters of the Nuggets would have gave them a lot of problems. But then again, a lot of teams, or should I say a lot of analysts were saying that Denver is a good matchup for against the Los Angeles Lakers because they have a lot of bigs to guard Jokic. Which was true. Jokic was struggling against them. Lakers played great defense. Anthony Davis hit the game winner. And then they ended up beating them in five games. And then on to the finals. Same thing with the Miami Heat. They said that the Heat are very quick defensively. Quick rotations. But then they got injured. Dragic and Bam in game one. But people are forgetting. Before they got injured, the Lakers were already killing them. <laughs> Perfect release. So uh, yeah, the Lakers overcame a lot of obstacles, a lot of criticism. They weren't the favored team to win and they still found a way. You gotta give props to the whole team, to LeBron, to AD. Rondo really stepped it up. KCP really stepped it up. Dwight Howard played really good. Even though Danny Green missed the game winning three. In game five, he still played great defense throughout the playoffs. So everyone contributed somehow, some way to this championship. So like I said, congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers. Let me know in the comment section. Were you guys doubting the Lakers yourselves? Who did you pick to win the NBA championship this year? 
Because personally myself, I didn't have the Lakers winning it. I thought the Clippers were going to win my... <laughs> but I didn't expect them to choke so hard against the Denver Nuggets. But yeah, congratulations to the Lakers once again, man. They deserve it. They did everything they can. They proved everyone wrong. What a poster by LA right there. So speaking of this gameplay, we're one minute left in the third quarter. It's a 10 point lead for us. He finds Ibaka wide open. Perfect midi. I'm going to run a nice play right here. Going inside. I find LA mid range. Or should I say that's a close shot? So our league is going really good right now. We're almost in the playoffs. We're one week away from the playoffs. So I have a lot of, have a lot of games to upload here on YouTube. I have a lot of gameplays, a lot of great gameplays to upload. A lot of close games. This is only, I think, the fourth game of the season. And I played over 30. <laughs> so I'm probably going to upload like a couple of more games. Update you guys on all the trades that have been going down. All the upgrades I've been doing. Uh, try to update you guys as much as possible. Then post the playoffs when it comes around. And then we're going to be redrafting for a new season in about a week or two. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to be doing that season until the PS5 drops. But we're not 100% sure yet. Because when the PS5 drops, not everybody's going to be getting it on launch date. So we're probably going to be sticking to PS4 until everyone is able to get a PS5. Or we're not too sure yet about... The, our game plan for PS5 yet, but for now we're sticking with PS4 leagues. We already got 30 members anyways. And if you want to join in the future, just hit me up in the comments section. We got great guys going, great gameplays, really fun. We got trades going down. We got buzzer beaters. We got a lot of great things happening. So this game is about 4 minutes in, the 4th left. I'm trying to take over Damian Lillard. He brings the double team. I find the cutter. So heading into the playoffs, I'm getting used to my team. I'm playing a little bit better. Because in the beginning of the season, I still don't know what plays to run. Um, which players to use and all of that. But now, going into the playoffs, I'm getting much better. So I'm excited to show you guys the gameplay that's further in this, into the season. It's going to be much better than this one. <laughs> so there's about 40 seconds left in the fourth. Kyle Lowry, wide open three, brick. I'm telling you, on 2K21, the shooting is really broken. But we were able to adjust the sliders and fix the shooting. So now it's even more fun. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think about the Lakers championship. If you want to join the league in the future. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a comment. I'll be uploading a lot more, a lot more gameplay. Just stay tuned. So here are the stats for the game. Don't forget to hit the bell notification because YouTube doesn't notify you when I upload videos sometimes. You'll be the first one to know. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.